Joe McKenzie here. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, and ask for value mix for color. I wanted to see what would happen if I painted a picture of someone that I have an emotional attachment to because I've been painting the BBC actors and actresses and I don't have an emotional attachment to them. But I do to Tom Petty. I've enjoyed his music for so many years. And it was hard to decide which Tom Petty to do. There, he has at least four looks over the years. I decided to not do uh, number one Tom Petty. He's a skinny kid, uh, very high on cocaine. I would call this number two Tom Petty. And this is when I was probably first introduced to his music. I think he's still a little stoned here. But anyway, <laughs> later on, he has a you know, full beard and mustache. And, uh, and I didn't want to get involved in that. The other thing I wanted to do was um, I wanted to do a closed mouth picture of him. And it was, that was a little harder to find. You know, he, has, he was a very private person, and so there aren't that many pictures of him in his private life. And so most of the pictures are from him on stage. And, of course, he's singing and performing on stage. And that's a stage, you know, the stage persona. Um, the other thing I thought that was interesting about Tom Petty is that he has kind of both a masculine and a feminine face at the same time. You know, those very high cheekbones and, um, and that, I always want to say, delicate chin uh, that... I don't know what, what to call that chin. It's certainly elongated. And so it doesn't stand, um, it doesn't follow the standard form for the male head, you know, and, and this is where no matter how much um, drawing you do, you sort of, you have to make adjustments for individual differences. And in his case, that, you know, his, his face from, um, from the nose, well, certainly from the nose down, certainly from the mouth down is elongated. So, um, so that was a challenge for me, and I knew that it would be, but I wanted to see, and it was really fun to do. So, um, so I'm not sure where I'm going next. I, I, um, I still have some BBCers that I want to finish, but um, I do want to see what happens when I am emotionally attached to uh, somebody that, that I want to get a likeness of. Oh, the other thing that happened in this painting that was interesting to me is I felt like I got the likeness, and then it disappeared, and then I got it again, and it disappeared, and then I got it again, and then at, at, in the end, I think I did get it, but um, but there was definitely some confusion around the mouth that I had to make some adjustments for, and you know that's tricky in watercolor. And if you're watching this, then, then you probably know that. So um, thanks so much for watching and watching and for joining my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye bye.